Hey guys, it's Melanie. So today we are doing a shop my stash, if you will. So this is my everyday makeup drawer. If you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that I've been doing this probably, it's been a few years. Um, I used to keep things in a basket on top of my desk here, but I changed it to um, in the drawer <laughs> with these cheap dividers that, by the way, are from, this one is from a skincare, bottle of skincare that I got as PR, um, and these just came from the Target dollar section. Um, so I moved things off of my desk when I got this Alex 5 drawer here because it made more sense to put the makeup away every single day instead of having it like sitting out scattered all about. So um, anyway, I shop from over here in my Alex 9 drawer. <sighs> Pardon that delightful disaster over here. I got rid of my desk because I don't need it at our new house. So that means everything got moved to the floor. I really didn't think ahead, but I'm kind of famous for that right now. So pardon that. But basically all of these drawers here have my various veritables, if you will. So this is my blush drawer. So I basically shop through here, pull things to put in here. This just helps me um, get ready every single day in a much faster manner. If I had to sit here and stare at all of this makeup and try to figure out what do I want to put on my face, it would take me forever. So um, anyway, by the way, I am going through and I am pulling things to purge from my collection before moving. I always give things to my nieces and I already have several blushes which you might be able to see up there. So Sydney and Grace, my beautiful nieces, are um, fixing to get another stash of goodies for me. But anyway, let's focus on this. So this is my everyday makeup drawer. In here, I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess um, contour and highlight palette. Well, it's called the chisel palette, but basically there is a powder in here that I use to contour with every single day. And there's also a powder that I use to highlight with every single day. So. I just keep that over here on the side. My powder foundations of choice right now are the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. This is a supersized one from QVC. Um, I believe this is just over two times the amount of a regular Balance and Brighten, so this has been super convenient. I also have the Wander Beauty um, Wanderlust powder foundation in here, which I also love. And then I have this Tarte, uh, not Tarte, Becca. The Specca Multitasking Finishing Powder. I don't know if you will have seen my in-depth review of this yet, but if it's not up yet, it might be up next week. Um, it is something that I pre-recorded, so it, it's somewhere in the list of videos that is yet to come, but really do like that product. Um, I also have a couple of other setting powders in here. This is the Hydra, the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder from By Terry. I was really bummed because at the time that I got this, By Terry was still cruelty free. They are no longer, but I am someone that does finish up products from the pre cruelty free days instead of just tossing everything. But once I finish this, I can't repurchase it, and that seriously bums me out because I love that powder. But this is something that I could repurchase. It's the Becca Soft Light um, Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. I really actually like this a lot. And no, it is not super pink on me. Um, the apricot one I think would be way off, but that actually looks more translucent on me. It's just lovely. Blush, I have the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy. I just love this. I pull it out quite frequently because it's so beautiful. I did want to do some drugstore blushes for you guys. So I have these Milani um, powder blushes, the, these rose guys here. So I have several. This is Awakening Rose. This is Tea Rose. And then down here I have Bella Rose. I just really like these. I think they're amazing quality for the drugstore. Some people have said they're really powdery. I don't think so. Like, I I love them. I think they're fantastic. Anyway, and they're cheap. Um, this is a remnant from the last makeup drawer. By the way, this is the last one that I'm doing before we move. So I picked enough stuff that I thought I would enjoy for the next several weeks. <laughs> because um, I do need to actually pack up the rest of my makeup that's over here. So uh, all that stuff, as I go through it, I will be packing up. But 
Anyway, this is the Becca blush in Flower Child, right? Yeah, this is just so pretty. Um, love that. The Laura Geller um, Balance and Brighten Blush. Sorry, Blush and Brighten in Dreamsicle. This is gorgeous, you guys. Um, I really want the full size of this. I don't know if the full size is still available. If I can ever find it, I will be getting the full size of this as a backup because I adore this color on me. It's so beautiful. Um, I also have a Too Faced blush in here. This is the Justify My Love, which is just a nice neutral pink. I still have my Sephora birthday gift in here. This is the Amazonian plush in Party. Um, this is just is a great neutral for me. So, And then Luminoso, I told you guys this was staying. Um, this is also a Milani blush. I just, I love this this time of year. So there it is. Uh, SPF, Daily SPF, Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. Um, I'm going, I can't list everything down below. I just honestly don't have time for that right now, you guys. But my Holy Grail products, I will list in the description box so you can go read up more about them. This is my Holy Grail SPF, and I have really oily skin. If you have really oily skin, this sucker works. I love it. Um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I have to have this for my oily eyelids. And then I use this to set the... Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's just Brulee from Wet n Wild, and you can see this one is just about kaput, so we're almost there. All right, back here. Can this come out? Perfect. So, mascara. Just random mascaras I'm working on right now. Killer Curves, Argon Wear, both of these from Physician's Formula. My beloved Velvet Noir from Marc Jacobs. This was a 100-point perk. Um, Granite Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Ash Blonde, um... Fiona Styles brow pencil. Not the best because it's an ash blonde and my hair is gray. So um, it's kind of the wrong tone, but I can fix it with either Granite Brow Powder Duo from Anastasia or my beloved, oh, I love this stuff, the Tarte Brow Powder in Gray. If you ever are wondering what's on my brows the vast majority of the time, usually it's just this. It just works really well with the microblading, which as you guys know, is fading. Um, so this just helps to darken up my brows again. I am liking a much darker brow these days, and I'm sure you guys have noticed. Um, some people like it, and some people do not. I hear all about it. So um, anyway, I just do what I think looks good on me. <laughs> I mean, I don't really wear makeup for other people, to be completely honest. I wear it because I like it, and I like playing around with it. So, um, But if you like what my brows look like, that brow powder right there is what you're looking for. All right, I'm not gonna go through all these. These are a bunch of lipsticks that I just randomly pulled. I went for lighter, pinkier spring colors. So I've got Native from Urban Decay. I've got Nudist from, this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. These were some minis that I got a couple years ago at holiday time. They're just perfect. Um, and I do love this lipstick line. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend it. There's a Wander Beauty on the Mauve duo in here. I did keep this one. It's a little bit darker than what I want to wear this time of year, but it's just so pretty. So I kept it in here. There's also another Wander Beauty balm type product. This is their Beach Balm in their shade Soul. It's a beautiful coral. You guys will be seeing this on my lips coming up here. Um... I have, what's this color? Marc Jacobs Pretty Thing. It's just a nice neutral pink, great everyday gloss. More of those little Gen Nude lipsticks. This guy here is Nude Beach from the Too Faced La Creme lipstick. This is a remnant from the last beauty drawer shop my stash. I didn't want to get rid of it yet because I'm just loving the way it looks on my lips. So, but anyway, and there's also some balms in here. I have the... Smith's Tropical Ambrosia in the tin as well as the Smith's Rosebud Solve in the original formula in the tube. By the way, pardon how dry my hands are. Oh my gosh, they're awful right now. The weather is just destroying my hands and I'm starting to get eczema on my hands now, so not fun. But that's everything that's in the drawer and I'm going to close this and move my bouncy little exercise ball up here. So let's take a look at um, the random eye palettes that I pulled. There's quite a few in here because I want variety for the next month, but the Bare Minerals Be Beautiful palette also has um, 
some blushes and face products in here, so I thought that was nice to pull out. Lorac Mega Pro, the original, which by the way, is available on the Lorac website. I love this. I will link this down below because this is one of my favorite palettes ever, but I love the Lorac formula, so there is that. I love this natural matte palette from Too Faced. I think this is one of the best palettes. Honestly, this would be in my like top 10. It really would be. This is just such an easy everyday palette. So uh, I'm going to be pretty busy this month. So this is a great one to grab for for just an easy polished eye look. As is the Becca um, Ombre Nudes Eye Palette. Which is perfect again for everyday. Super easy. Um... Just love it. The uh, semi-sweet chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. Hi guys. There we go. Um, I thought this would just be kind of another nice neutral. Can you guys tell I'm in my neutral eye phase? <laughs> There's not much color going on here, but I'm cool with it. Um, the shade and light contour eye palette from Kat Von D. This is not the time of year I normally grab for this, but I just kind of wanted it available just in case I wanted it over the next month because it is one that I like to grab for just randomly. So I took it out so that I don't pack it up and get sad. The Tartlet palette. I did have this one out recently, but um, I wanted to keep it out because I just really did enjoy it a lot when I was using it. So I have that. And then I really also like this a lot. This is great because it also has some face products in here. This is the Stila in the in the light. Hang on. In. Wow, that was a giant lie. Uh, perfect me, perfect hue in fair light. There we go. Anyway, the face products and some eye colors. Just very pretty for this time of year. Very simple. Once again, something. If I'm going up to my parents in the next month, I can easily just grab this, and it has all the things that I need. So that is everything. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for joining me and thanks for putting up with my various disasters that are my life right now. I really appreciate you guys continuing to support my channel during this transition time in my life. And, um, starting in April, things will be normal <laughs> and a little bit more organized. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Take care.